Okay, folks, I've had reason to take issue with Eric July on account of his comic book, I Saw Number One, which is his first in the Ripaverse series of comics, but I've never had reason before to take issue with his commentary on comics um, until today. He just released a video called This Book Had to Be Bad, and it's about Hoshea Anderson's uh, Luke Cage City of Fire, which is a canceled series from Marvel Comics that was going to feature Luke Cage in a very compromising kind of position. Um, but before I get to that, let me just note that Hoshea Anderson uh, is not Asian as the name sounds. He is Jamaican, and he was named after Ho Chi Minh and Che Guevara. So talk about having the deck kind of stacked against you from a political perspective. Um, I have not actually read very much of Hoshea Anderson's works. He's, he's largely been associated with Fantagraphics, which is a, a comic book company that I don't intersect with much. But I did read one series by him back in the day. It was 1996's Milestone series, Milestone being an imprint largely for uh, black and other minority characters like Hardware, Icon, Static, uh, the Blood Syndicate. One of the Blood Syndicate characters was called Wise Son, and he was a black Muslim character. And Hoshea Anderson wrote a five-issue miniseries for Wise Son called... Uh, the White Wolf, Wise Son the White Wolf, something like that. And, in fact, I've got the title here. Yeah, Wise Son the White Wolf. <laughs> well, uh, actually, my memory's pretty good once in a while. So, I remember that series, and I remember it being a good series. It was about uh, Wise Son, who's a black Muslim, and coming to terms with the real teachings of Islam as opposed to just the militancy that he had learned uh, initially, he was he was trying to become a Muslim of substance and not just a Muslim of show, and at the same time, feeling conflicted by his gang loyalties and also by his racial loyalties. And it wound up being a very very compelling book. And so I feel like Hoshea Anderson's work on Luke Cage: City of Fire would likely have been good. Um, but Eric July just kind of dismissively doesn't see it that way. He's thinking that because Marvel canceled it, and because Marvel canceled it, attributing the cause to the possibility of blowback from right-wing nutjobs. Right-wing nutjobs, apparently not liking this book. Then he's thinking, oh, well, you know, Marvel doesn't care what right-wingers think, therefore this book had to be crap. This book had to be total crap. They just didn't want to tell the writer that, and therefore, you know, they, they, they blamed it on the right wing. I don't think it's that simple, because here was the proposed plot of Luke Cage's City of Fire. Luke Cage was going... The, basically, a George Floyd event would take place in the Marvel Universe. A black man would be killed by a white cop in the way that George Floyd was, or in a way similar to how George Floyd was, something like that. The mother of the black man would hire Luke Cage to protect the white cop from being lynched. Wow. Okay, let me just first say, wow, that is one hell of a concept. That is the kind of concept that makes my ears perk up, because that speaks to me of complexity. How would Luke Cage have felt watching, you know, a man get killed on TV and then find out his job, if he chooses to take it, is going to be to protect the man's killer? You know, the person who he's probably bubbling with rage over is the person who it is his job to protect. That sounds like an awesome series. And by the way, I'm a right winger. Okay? That's something that would have appealed to me. That is not something that would have angered me as a right-wing nut jobber. <laughs> that is something that would have appealed to me. I'd be like, hey, oh, this would, this would probably be really interesting. There'd probably be a dueling of perspectives here. You'd probably get a whole bunch of different points of view. This would entice me. This would not repel me. This would not anger me. And yet Marvel comes to Hoshea Anderson and says, yeah, we're afraid that right-wing nutjobs, especially since Kyle Rittenhouse just got off, uh, that, that they're going to uh, protest against this book. 
Okay, Kyle Rittenhouse's getting off for the shootings in Kenosha was a happy moment for the right wing. Why would a happy moment for the right wing be some reason to take issue with a comic book that now had the kind of complexity is to say, you know what, maybe even the worst criminals in our eyes deserve a fair trial and a good defense and don't deserve to be lynched on the way to the courthouse. That's not something that's going to piss the right wing off. Oh no. That's something that's going to piss the left wing off. And Jose Anderson, he says, I don't really think it's the right wing nut jobs that they're really concerned with, but they didn't tell me what it was they were really concerned with. And he doesn't speculate. But I think it's pretty clear. You've got a black superhero, one of the most preeminent black superheroes in the Marvel Universe, Luke Cage, being hired to protect a Derek Chauvin type character. Who do you think that's really going to enrage? It's going to enrage the left because according to, you know, it's going to enrage the leftists not only out in the world, not only the leftist comic book readers and commentary uh, out in the world, it's going to enrage the leftists at Marvel when they see that. It's going because they can't tolerate the idea of a black man who's not just going to be automatically wanting to kill this Derek Chauvin guy and instead would protect this Darren Chauvin guy. Yeah, I don't think it's the right at all that Marvel is afraid of. I think it's the left, both within Marvel and without, that they were afraid of getting blowback from. And so when Eric July just basically writes this book off and says this book must have been dog crap for, for Marvel to have canceled it, I, I think that's just lazy analysis. You know, not everything is Batgirl. <laughs> I mean, in, in Batgirl's case, they came right out and said, this movie is dog crap, we can't release this, this is going to hurt our brand. But in this particular case, I just having this cursory experience with Hoshi Anderson's work in the past, I don't think that's the case at all. I think that this was going to be a very complex, possibly award-winning comic book that the left would have hated. And that's why Marvel canceled it. So, you know, I, I would basically tell Eric July, take a second look, you know, and maybe familiarize yourself with Hoshi Anderson's work a little, because I don't think you can just write it, this book off as being crap. I think you need to possibly write this book off as being excellent and, uh, and something that the left just could not abide. And so, you know, why not just blame the usual suspects? The right-wingers, yeah! We're, we're, we're the ones who were burning down, uh, down towns all through the summer because of George Floyd. Yeah, yeah, we're the ones you had to be afraid of. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I'm Mike Bartika. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.